back to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a set of gel polish nails using some Madame Glam gel polishes. And I've got these cute, I can't remember if they're called pumpkin spice or spice latte decals, but whatever they are, I'll put the title down at the bottom there so you can see. You can get 10% off these using my code NATMUG10. They're from Nail Sugar. I love them. Also, these fiery copper micro flakes are also from Nail Sugar. They are out of stock at the moment. They sold out really quick. Um, but they will be back in stock this week so do keep your eyes peeled and um, then the gel polishes we're using from madam glam are rosy nude one of my favorites um chic madame these these colors go really well with the decals and deep sea dream and you can get 30 percent off any madam glam products using my code natmug30 apart from items in the outlet because they're already heavily discounted um so we are going to start by applying two coats of each color to one of the nails right this is weird i do things a little bit skewiffy sometimes because when i start a set of nails i don't always know what i want to do so what i'm doing here is i'm putting one coat of each color on one nail on three nails so we've got one of the bluey ones one of the ready ones and one of the pink ones um, however, I do end up doing two pinks, one red, and two blueies. I don't know what the right colour is, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, two coats of that. Each coat will need a 30-second cure. Right, I've only showed you me doing one coat because it's just the same. The second coat is the same as the first coat. Then what you need to do is you need to decide which little images you want from your decals, and then you need to cut them out. So, I chose this one because that red color on here really goes well with the red color on the nail and also we're only doing one red so i thought well this is a nice red on a decal so it will do you know what i mean does that make sense i don't know anyway i cut off two little hearts as well because i thought we'd have the hearts above the little latte spice latte thing um i now stick my decals on with a stamp up because it's the most amazing thing i've ever heard um, I like to stamp, clean my stamper with my lint roller. Then I place the decal on upside down onto the stamper and then I just dab some water onto the back of the decal. Um, not too much, just a little bit, just enough to kind of soak it. And then after a few seconds, it will the backing will just peel off. And then I just like, just dab off any excess water with my finger. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is because we're going onto a pink nail, the top of the decal is the decals are actually clear apart from i mean they do have some color in them but um that cream at the top of the coffee thing would come out pink um so i put the gel polish on the back of the decal um this will help it you'll see it's like proper colors then do you know what i mean She's, yeah um so a very thin coat of gel polish on the back and then give it a cure and then we're going to stamp it onto our nail i wanted mine to be at an angle um, I kind of, I don't know if it's, yeah, I think it's at an angle enough, but I was thinking people might think that it's not angled enough and it's just wonky. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, I'm going to do the same with the hearts. Um, I'm going to give the hearts a fill in with some white gel polish as well. If you're doing these on a white gel polish background, then you don't need to fill them in with the white gel polish because there's just no need. But there we go. Can you see, if I hadn't have put that white gel polish on the background, that that cream would have been pink. Okay, now we're going to take the fiery copper micro flakes, which I love. And I'm going to put these on this red nail in a swoosh. The micro flakes, if you I haven't actually... Right, these are going on the tacky layer of the gel polish colour. I haven't actually put these on a nail with, with cured base coat. I mean, they all have a tacky layer, but I think a tacky layer of base coat is more tacky than a tacky layer of gel polish. So, I don't know. But again, I'm doing a swoosh on this one as well. On the other blue nail that we put the copper flakes on, that swoosh will be going in the other direction. I love the copper flakes. I love the gilded gold flakes as well. They're really cool. I need to still, I need to use the, um, the violet. Is it icy violet? The other ones. I need to try those out as well. I'll kind of, I'll wait a little, well, I say I'll wait until they come back in stock because you'll be like, but sometimes I can't help but use them. Urgh. Right, on the other nail, right, this little pumpkin spice decal, 
Um, it's very thin, so it's difficult to get white behind the lettering without it hanging over. Um, but because it's black, you won't need to you won't need to fill the back in anyway. Um, I've just cut off three decals that I want like that, and I'm going to put them on this pink nail. Same process as before, so I'm not going to show you me doing that. You can see that on the nail already. I've got some base coat, and I'm going to pop that on my palette, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the base coat in with some of these copper flakes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them. Oh, I've got an itchy eyelid. Uh, by the way, my children, both my children are back at school today. Kyle, no, Scott went back yesterday, and then Kyle went back today, and it's really, really quiet. <sighs> It's actually quite nice <laughs> but it is weird i do miss them already but it's just quite nice to have a little bit of peace five minutes to myself because i haven't had it for six weeks um but yeah i do miss them bless the little cotton socks right so look you can see i'm just filling in the side of the pie with the gold with not the gold with the copper flakes in the base coat and then on this one i'm going to do the pumpkin in the middle of the cup and I'm also going to do the, I suppose it's the syrup on the top of the cream. We're just going to fill that in. Just to give it a little bit of zhuzh. I don't know what the word is. You know what I mean. And then I will give those a cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. I'm using my two-in-one Melody Susie lamp, by the way, if anyone wants to know. It's got an e-file attached to it, which is great. Uh, and then we are going to matte top coat. If you don't like matte top coat, you don't have to matte top coat. You can use a no white glossy top coat. It's entirely up to you. Horses for courses. Is that, I don't even know if that is the... It's just that each horse prefers a different course you know so i suppose there's a hair there i do get that off because oh, there's no way i'm going to cure that into that nail oh i hate things like that but i couldn't get it off i actually had to get it off with some tweezers which you will see so doing this look oh hang on just get that off first um you'll be able to see here this is what they would look like if they were shiny so that's just to give you an idea but i'm going to pop them into the lamp i am going to Add that extra blue now and i did throw some crystals on just for good measure but this is them finished i hope you like them if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free nail sugar and madam glab's website will be below um i think that's it god bless uh i'll see you in the next one love you bye